In California, any individual can do a filing for a ballot initiative as long as they get enough people to sign the filing and get it on the ballot. Now, there is one California lawyer who can't stop thinking about gay sex. In fact, he can't stop thinking about it so much that he wants to ban it. Now, this is... Sure he does. <laughs> ban it. Now, uh, this is a hilarious story, okay? If this ballot initiative actually gets to the ballot, it would be called the Sodomite Suppression Act. Hmm. Okay. So this is a Huntington Beach attorney, and here's what he wants to do. The filing, along with a check of $200, will allow attorney Matthew McLaughlin to begin the process of collecting the approximately 365,000 signatures needed to put the measure before California voters on an upcoming ballot. It states that the abominable crime against nature, known as buggery, oh, awesome. called also sodomy, is a monstrous evil monstrous. that Almighty God, giver of freedom and liberty, it doesn't really sound like God's in favor of freedom and liberty, but anyway, commands us to suppress on pain of our utter destruction, even as he overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, we've got to tackle that quote here. Uh, first of all, if God gives freedom and liberty, why does he also take it away? Yeah. Didn't he give me the freedom to do whatever I like, including buggery? What is it your business, Mr. McLaughlin? Wrong, McLaughlin, you shouldn't interfere in this. Uh, second of all, uh, he commands us upon uh, pain of, of our utter destruction, as he did in Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. So again, McLaughlin, why do we need, what do we need you for? If God would like to take action on this, he is the ruler of the universe. Yeah. It's not like he doesn't know how to do it. The thing is, he's he's just looking out for us. You yes. know what I mean? Like he just wants to make sure that it doesn't get to that point where God gets involved and he's like, yo, the buggery is not good. Destruction. <laughs> right? The idea that the creator of the universe is worried about buggery <laughs> is quite amusing no, to say the least. No, this guy is both crazy but also dangerous. And I'll get to the dangerous part in a second, but I want to read you more from this uh, filing. It is better if offenders, sodomites, be put to death rather than all of us should be killed by God's just wrath against us for tolerating wickedness in our midst. See, this is the amazing thing. So whenever we do stories about anti-gay people, it, they have like this obsession with thinking about gay sex, right? So even when I was more conservative, and this was when I was in high school, and to be honest with you, I was pretty ignorant, I didn't, I never thought about gay sex. Like, I didn't think like, oh my God, and then they do this, and then they do that. And, like, I don't, my mind doesn't go there. Like, the fact that anti-gay people like this attorney think about gay sex so much just makes me question whether or not they really understand themselves. I've never seen anybody refer to the wickedness of others or the naughtiness yes. of others. You, you're being bad, bad boys, and I'm against that. Without secretly being turned on by it. Uh, and I remember Larry Craig when he was talking about what a naughty, naughty boy Bill Clinton was. Mm -hmm. And that literally the words he used uh, on television. And later out, later we found out that he liked to be a naughty, naughty boy in Minneapolis airports playing footsies with other dudes, yep. Yep. which then led to other things, possibly including buggery. So it turns out he liked naughty, naughty boys. And here we go again with yet another guy obsessed with Although, you know, it's usually sodomites. Buggery is, is a nice little touch he threw in there. It's a, one of my favorite words in the English language. It's one of the most amusing words. What does buggery mean exactly? I'm pretty sure it means anal sex. Okay, all right. I haven't put as much thought into it as Mr. McLaughlin has, but I, I believe it. that's I what it, it means. Okay, so uh, one final uh, graphic for you. Uh, he says that any person who willingly touches another person of the same gender for purposes of sexual gratification be put to death by bullets to the head or by any other convenient method. Listen, Matthew, I got it, I got it. You're trying to convince everyone that you're not gay. It's not working, okay? Because if you're confident in your sexuality, you're not obsessed with banning things like gay sex. When I was trying to get laid as, uh, as a youngster, mm -hmm. um, I never thought, how can I stop other guys from getting laid? <laughs> Unless they were trying to hit on the same girl as I was. <laughs> okay, like that, I didn't have mental energy for that. Right. I'm, all my mental energy was focused on getting laid by a girl, which apparently Matthew is not really concerned about. So, uh, look, but on the other hand, you have to give it to him. He is a little merciful, mm -hmm. right? Uh, he says, you don't have to necessarily shoot him with a bullet to the head. You can use a other convenient method, convenient. And, uh, and then he says, if you're distributing sodomistic propaganda, uh -huh. you won't get executed. Yeah. You only get a million dollar fine and 10 years in prison once again, is he not merciful? That's it, that's it. 
So look, it's a good day in America when this story is amusing. Mm -hmm. Because there were days in America when this story was not amusing and it wasn't a lone nut job in, in California. There's a lot of people who thought like this and a lot of people who acted like this. So we're getting to a better place, but obviously they're still around and this is our American Taliban. Mm -hmm. The way they react is because they have a little interpretation of their violent, bloody religious text as Muslim, Muslim fundamentalists have the same interpretation of their bloody, violent religious texts. Because if you read them, they do say that stuff. I know, it's amazing. This guy is advocating for the execution of gay individuals by citizens. Okay, so citizens would be able to shoot and kill anyone who's engaged in buggery. I mean, it's absurd, to say the least. So, yeah, I mean, when you have fundamentalists, fundamentalists are insane. And they will call for violence against those who don't agree with whatever their agenda is. In this case, I think that Buggery does agree with what his agenda is. He's just afraid to admit it, and he's trying to project and trying to overcompensate for his sexuality. I'm calling the dude gay, okay? There's no question <laughs> okay, about that's it. That's what you're doing. Yes. That's where you're leading. I'm okay. just saying.